if you're ready to stop just filling wrinkles and start focusing on regenerating the youthful quality of your skin, stick around. We're going to cover everything from the basic science to advanced injection techniques and customized treatment plans. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most versatile and revolutionary injectables available. Radius. For years we thought of Radius primarily as a filler, but the science has evolved and now we understand that this product is truly a regenerative aesthetic treatment. If you're ready to stop just filling wrinkles and start focusing on regenerating the youthful quality of your skin, stick around. We're going to cover everything from the basic science to advanced injection techniques and customized treatment plans. So what exactly is Radius? It is a calcium hydroxyl appetite based product. Each one and a half cc syringe is composed of two main parts, 30% calcium hydroxyl appetite microspheres and 70% carboxymethylcellulose gel, CMC. The magic ingredient is those calcium hydroxyl appetite microspheres. These particles are microscopic. This is the portion of the product responsible for the regenerative purposes. The CMC gel acts as a carrier. Crucially, the CMC gel is miscible in water. This unique property allows us to change the physical properties of the product, a process known as rheomodulation. Now for the mechanism of action. Radius is distinct from traditional HA fillers like Voluma or Juvederm. Radius works via a one-step mechanical activation of fibroblasts. These microspheres provide a substrate or a scaffolding in the extracellular matrix, ECM. These microspheres provide a substrate or a scaffolding in the extracellular matrix, ECM, for your body's fibroblasts to attach to and stretch out on. This stretching stimulates them to produce new long-term proteins including collagen type 1 and type 3, elastin and proteoglycans. This leads to progressive improvement in skin quality including increased skin elasticity and snapback. The ability to rheomodulate Radius is what gives it unparalleled versatility. By adding a diluent, typically saline or water, we can adjust the product's physical properties, specifically its G prime or elastic modulus, which is its ability to resist deformation or provide lift. We categorize these dilutions into four main areas. Number one, undiluted Radius. This is injected straight out of the syringe. It has the highest G prime of any non-permanent filler on the market. Undiluted is ideal for structure, definition and lift. We typically use this for areas like the cheekbones, chin and jawline. Two, hypodilute Radius. This involves adding up to 1.5 cc of diluent, such as the unlabeled dilution of 0.26 cc. This slightly softens the G prime while still providing excellent lift and structure. 3. Dilute radius. 1 to 1. This uses 1.5 cc of radius mixed with 1.5 cc of diluent, 3 cc total volume. This dilution maintains just enough G prime to provide global volumization and lift around 27 pascals. This ratio is associated with the highest amount of biostimulation and is excellent for submalar hollows, temples and nasolabial folds. 4. Hyperdilute radius 1 to 2 and above. 
This is any dilution of over 1.5 cc of diluent. At this stage, the G prime is often zero and we are primarily using radius solely for its regenerative properties and skin quality improvements. One to two dilution, one and a half cc of radius plus three cc of diluent equals 4.5 cc total is generally recommended for most areas of the body like arms and decolletage. At this dilution, the lateral spread is 20 to 25 millimeters and the depth spread is 25 to 30 millimeters. One to three dilution, one and a half cc's of radius and four and a half cc's of diluent equals a total of six mLs. This is typically used for the neck and areas with greater laxity and crepiness. Radiesse's versatility means we can treat almost the entire body. The typical injection depth for dilute and hyperdilute applications is the subdermal plane, the closest plane to the deep dermis where most fibroblasts are found. Panfacial, cheeks, temples, jawline. We often use a one-to-one -one dilution here. A systematic mapping approach injecting superior to inferior top-down is recommended to maintain proportions and symmetry. For the jawline, undiluted product is usually preferred for contour and definition. Neck and tech neck. This is typically treated with a one to three dilution. When treating horizontal tech neck lines, it is crucial not to chase those lines with the product as you might with an HA filler which can cause a visible radius necklace. Instead, assertively subsize the bands while laying a thin sheet of product across the lines. Decolletage. This area is often treated with a one to two dilution. This will be our first hyperdilute indication approved by the FDA expected in the next nine months. A crucial safety note here. Radius is radio-opaque and can show up as calcification on a mammogram. Doctors must be careful to stay out of the breast tissue when injecting this area. Body contouring. Buttocks, thighs, arms. On the body, hyperdilute radius is effective for improving laxity, crepiness, and even cellulite. In the buttocks, Different dilutions can be customized to treat specific concerns in the same patient. One to two dilution for shaping, projection, one to one dilution for cellulite, and one to three dilution for sagging and laxity. The general rule is one syringe, undiluted volume per 100 square centimeters, about the size of the palm of your hand. Radius is frequently combined with other treatments to achieve synergistic effects. We often see it used with threads or even growth factors like PRP or PRF, which can replace saline as the diluent for faster, excellent outcomes. But a particularly exciting hybrid approach is the GOLD protocol, which blends Radius with Bellotero Balance, a hyaluronic acid filler, and a neuromodulator like Xeomin. This combination is frequently used for treating the neck. The typical ratio includes a 1 to 3 hyperdilution and includes 1 syringe of Radius, 1 syringe of Bellator Balance, and Xeomin Toxin plus saline to reach the final volume. Here's why this hybrid approach is so effective. Number 1. Bellator Balance HA provides immediate fill, smoothing, and hydration. Since the HA tapers off around the three to four month mark, this immediate effect bridges the gap until the biostimulation takes over. Two, Xeomin, botulinum toxin. When injected into the subdermal plane, a technique similar to microtox, the toxin provides skin quality benefits such as reducing pore size and sebum production. This provides a different kind of wrinkle relaxation focused on the dermal structure rather than muscle paralysis. Three, Radius provides the long-term regenerative effects increasing collagen and elastin. Patient safety is always paramount. Vascular occlusion, because Radius has the highest G prime undiluted, 
injection must be precise. The management protocol for a vascular compromise caused by radiase is virtually identical to that for hyaluronic acid fillers. The key steps include hyaluronidase injection used to reperfuse tissue and help disperse the CMC gel, not dissolve the calcium hydroxyl apatite particles. Massage and warm compresses, aspirin and low dose steroids. Nodules, focal accumulations. This is the more likely adverse event, often caused by product accumulation, particularly with hyperdilute applications. Note that these are typically nodules, accumulation of product, and not true granulomas, which would be an inflammatory response. The only location where true granulomas have been reported with radius is in the lips, which is why radius is strictly contraindicated for lip injection. If a patient reports lumpiness or bumpiness within the first two weeks, daily massage, for example in the shower or while applying lotion, is recommended to smooth it out before it hardens into a nodule. If a nodule does form, a minimally invasive technique, level 1 intervention, is highly effective. Number 1. Inject the area with 3 to 4 times the volume of the nodule using sterile water or saline. 2. Immediately follow up with a few dozen passes of microneedling over the area, using the device for its percussive vibrating activity rather than necessarily breaking the skin barrier. This process usually resolves the nodule within 2 to 3 weekly sessions. Since radius is a biostimulator, the full results take time as your body produces new collagen and elastin. Initial treatment schedule. An initial treatment cycle typically consists of one to three sessions. These sessions are usually spaced four to eight weeks apart. Follow up and results. Patients will see an immediate volumization effect from the CMC gel, especially with higher G prime dilutions. However, this gel gradually dissipates the collagen and elastin production progressively improves the skin quality over time with results often continuing to improve up to seven months after treatment. Duration of effect. Anecdotally and based on histology showing similar amounts of collagen creation compared to products like Sculptra, the results from hyperdilute radius treatments are expected to last around two years. For undiluted or hypodiluted applications, the duration is often similar to traditional fillers. Maintenance. The goal is preventing the patient from returning to baseline. After the initial one to three treatment sessions, annual maintenance treatments are generally recommended, serving as a top-off session to sustain the regenerative effects. Radius truly stands out as a unique product in aesthetic medicine. It moves beyond simply filling by actively regenerating the key components of youthful skin, collagen, elastin, and proteoglycans. Whether used undiluted for contouring or hyperdiluted for skin quality, its customizability is amazing, allowing you to tailor treatment sessions based on the patient's specific needs and skin characteristics. The future of Radius looks incredibly promising, especially with the introduction of hybrid protocols, incorporating products like Bellator Balance and Xeomin, maximizing both immediate satisfaction and long-term regeneration. We covered a lot of advanced material today. I hope this deep dive into the science and application of Radius has been insightful. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button. It really supports our channel. Subscribe for more deep dives into regenerative aesthetics and clinical practices. And let me know in the comments below, have you experienced the regenerative power of Radius or are you considering it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and answer your questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.